Rose Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, we hopped on a plane this morning and we are here in Harlem, back in my Harlem apartment. Um, as soon as I got here, I ordered myself some field trip Harlem. I think they have one in Harlem. They have one close to Columbia University as well. So good. I love that place. Highly recommend it. So I got myself together, put on a little face. Of course, this, this is Fenty MVP Lip, my favorite Dior blush. All of the makeup deets will be down below. And I popped on my favorite little Jean-Paul Gaultier dress because I'm about to go do something really fun. Sorry about all the noise, you guys. They already turned the radiators on in my um, apartment building and it is so hot in here. And it's like 80 degrees outside, so I'm not sure why the radiators are already on. But it's something you cannot escape if you live in New York City and you can't control your heat. Anyway, it's hot in here, so I have every window open so you can hear all the noise, so sorry about that. Anywho, I'll put on my favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. If these are still available, I'll link a few down below. Um, and I'm gonna head downtown. I'm doing something really, really fun. I can't tell you what it is yet, but you will see soon. Um, and then I am heading to an event with Ferragamo to check out their fall, winter um, accessories collection. Um, and then my girl Janae is in town, so we're probably gonna have dinner. And it's just gonna be a fun afternoon. It's about four o'clock now. I'm gonna finish getting myself ready and then we're gonna head downtown to the events, to dinner, and of course I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's finish off the look. Let's pick an earring, a scent, a shoe. I'll show you the full look and then we're out of here. All right guys, in my cloth for tonight's scent, I'm gonna go with the Lake and Sky 1111 fragrance. I got this last, in the previous vlog. Y'all, it smells so good. It's like amber, white musk. It's just clean and ethereal and just beautiful and very uh, cost effective too. This is pretty affordable. I think it's like under 50 bucks. Um, I believe you can get it at Nordstrom, so I will link this down below. Again, this is Sky and Lake. It's called 1111. Super clean aesthetic. I think you guys will really, really enjoy this. Um, so yeah, that's the fragrance of the day. Of course, I'm gonna take this Ferragamo bag since we're going to a Ferragamo event. Oh my goodness, you guys, my <laughs> my Jimmy Choo presentation from Milan, the little show invite is still in my bag. Um, so we're gonna pop my fragrance in here. I think I'm also going to take these Saint Laurent sunglasses these are my favorites and i love the red especially when i have a red lip so we'll put this in my bag as well for the, today's earring i want i'm wondering if i should like go big no i feel like the dress is already doing a lot so i think instead we will go with my tiffany link earrings i have been loving these so these are the silver link earrings in the largest size and i just think they're very chic but they're also like really cool um but they don't like take away from the dress but the dress does have like silver hardware so i think a silver earring would look really nice if i can get this in my ear there we go yeah love that okay um let's see i'm actually gonna bring a change of clothing because this is for one thing and this is for the Ferragamo event so I feel like this with the Ferragamo bag will be a vibe. This is the dress from Joseph that I got from My Teresa that you would have seen in my fall trends haul styling video. Such a beautiful dress. I believe it is still available so if you're interested in a maxi dress and a really cool print definitely check out Joseph. Like the brand is really kind of slipped on and the quality is impeccable. All right guys, hopefully you all can see me, but this is the look, wearing this Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. I've already given you the rundown on the earrings and the makeup. 
the shoes i ended up going with my autolinger sandals i love these i actually picked these up from i believe essence and they have them in a ton of fun different colors but the black just kind of spoke to me they're almost like a black gray and they will also go very well with my joseph dress that i plan on changing into so that is the look let's go Alright guys, we are at the Pendry Hotel, so maybe you'll know what's happening, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, but this hotel is so luxe. I think I came to a Cadillac event here. Um, don't worry, I just have my other dress in this Tiffany bag because that's the only bag I can find and my ears are popping. Wow. to this Joseph dress. I Ooh, love this. my ears are popping. Pop Hello, I live here now. In this room, I'll be sleeping in the tub. <sighs> that event was cool. We're heading to dinner. And I'm ready to eat. Starving.
Good morning, everyone. It is quite an active day in Harlem, so you might hear a lot of trucks and horns and all the things. Um, I'm getting myself together. We're going shopping today. And then um, I actually have to make a return at Bergdorf. So we're gonna go to Bergdorf. I wanna pop into Saint Laurent. I definitely wanna go to Zara as well as Cost because they both have these new like atelier collections and I wanna see the good stuff. So yes, I'm gonna take you guys in the dressing room. We're gonna try on all the good things and I will link everything down below. Um, and this evening we are going to a Halloween party at the Brooklyn Museum. Uh, it is being put on by The Layout. They always do the, um, oh, why is the name escaping me? Yes, they always do the Juneteenth um, like celebrations at uh, Fort Greene Park every year, which I went to in a previous vlog this summer. Uh, so yeah, it should be fun. The theme is 90s theme. Um, so I'm just gonna dress like the 90s. But you guys will see my outfit. Anywho, getting myself together, I have on this super old Zara knit dress. Um, I love this thing. The quality is so amazing. Look, I know Zara prices are going up, but some things, like the quality is great and it lasts forever. I'm about to do a quick makeup face. I'm all cleansed. I'm about to put on some of the Ordinary uh, Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. I've been actually using this as like a moisturizer and a base for my makeup because like you guys, I showed you in a previous vlog I had a little like breakout here and then I just have like a little rough patch of skin right here so this has actually been helping it is filled with lipids vitamins and phototech technologies for epidermal repair so right now I'm just focus on focusing on repairing my skin from like fashion month and all the damage that your girl did to it it is pink it looks almost like Pepto-Bismol but it, <laughs> it doesn't have a smell it's super moisturizing and I can already tell the difference like my this little rash that I had here on my neck is already clearing up after like three days of using this which is wonderful and this little rough patch that I had on my face is also starting to get back to being pretty soft which is great so I'm gonna quickly do a face and then we'll get ourselves together and head to Bergdorf's and then to a few other stores to check out all of the goodies that they have for uh, fall and winter. And I feel like the selections are better here in New York versus in Miami, of course. Um, they get all the good stuff first, so I'll show you guys all the goodies from Zara, from Cos. I might pop into Saks as well, so yeah. Last night was amazing. Let me do a little recap of last night while I do my makeup. So I ended up going to the Pendry Hotel, which is where my girl uh, Janae of Hilo Lux is staying, um, and we did record an episode. I didn't record or get any like behind the scenes footage because that's her show, that's her baby. Um, you'll see any of that over on her channel. But the interview or like the episode is so good. I think you guys are gonna love it. So definitely go over to Janae Naylor's channel, Hilo Lux, and check out her series, um, Style Unlocked. It's so fun. Like she had Chi on there. Ka, um, I think an upcoming episode with Tashira of Politics and Fashion is coming. I'll be on there as well. So yeah, check it out. It's very, very fun. It's definitely something needed in fashion right now. I mean, it was just nice to catch up and hang out with her. I hadn't seen her since Milan. Yeah. So that was fun. Afterwards, we ended up going to this Ferragamo event. I changed out of my Jean-Paul Gaultier look into a Joseph dress that I got from my Teresa um, and a really cute Ferragamo bag that I bought in Paris um, last year, last season. And we went to the Ferragamo event. It was basically just a preview to show their fall winter offerings like the fall winter bags, the fall winter watches, which I actually didn't know 
but they had watches and the watches are really cute i love the long like oblong faces of the watch um and the leather straps i'm actually thinking about getting one so yeah and they also had sunglasses they had their shoes there it was really cute they had all of these little setups where you could take fun photos and try on the sunglasses um there was a dj i ended up talking to a few people from the ferragamo team um friends that i hadn't seen in a while and we had a really good time and then we went back to the pendry hotel and had dinner at zuzu which is the restaurant in the bottom level of the pendry hotel it's mediterranean and it's delicious okay i love mediterranean food like i love a good hummus you know a little a, a good little dip but the food was actually seasoned to perfection the drinks were divine i ended up getting a french 75 and i made sure they used tangeray gin because you know your girl is working with tangeray and i love the gin like that that was one of the best french 75s i've ever had at zuzu's um and then what else what else what else we got uh the chicken the fried chicken chef's kiss i think josh got uh the filet mignon that was really good it actually came on a skewer which was really cool janae got the branzino we got rice the rice was so good broccolini seasoned to perfection and then sweet potato like baked and marinated like the food was delicious the vibes were immaculate like you see how cute it is in there they also have a little downstairs bar that we kind of popped into as well um but i really like the pendry like the view is amazing it's very chic very modern um very clean very aesthetic and i would definitely love to stay there so perhaps in a future new york city vlog we'll stay a day or two there um but yeah yesterday was incredible we did get a little gift from ferragamo um i'm gonna go ahead and finish up a quick little face and then i'll show you what i got from ferragamo I did a super simple face I showed you all the products I didn't do an eye because I'm probably gonna wear sunglasses but I'm gonna finish off the look with Dior rose glow oil in rosewood which is turning out to be my favorite lip glow oil from Dior mm. and I will link everything down below I am ashy <laughs> so I brought my tiny little keels cream the corp lotion with me this is my little travel one 
I can't even explain how ashy I feel right now. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, I'm probably gonna wear some sunglasses. Maybe I'll even wear the ones that I got from Ferragamo. Um, and I'm gonna have to do my makeup later before the party. So I just don't wanna have to... Well. So I just don't wanna have to redo like a full face. I'll just do my eye later on before it's time to go to the party. And you guys, I am loving this 1111 fragrance from Lake and Sky. I've linked it down below. It's very affordable. Um, you can get different ones, different sizes. Oh, it smells so fresh and clean. I got so many compliments last night wearing this. Okay, let's go open the gift I got from Ferragamo. All right, you guys, let's get into what I got from Ferragamo and their signature Ferragamo Red. I think you guys will know what they gifted us. So these gift bags were like waiting at the exit once we left. So excited. So all of their eyewear come in this cool box. Let's open that up. You already know what it is. There's a little case here that says Salvatore Ferragamo. It's like a beautiful black case. Let's flip this up. Same there in silver. And we have these. Uh, these are so cool. I don't have anything like this. They are rimless sunglasses. We're not focusing, so I'll put them on the screen. And kind of like a, a brassy color, like a brown brass almost. Very, very cool. This is what they look like on. Ah! I really like the handle. The handle is very skinny and long, and then it just curves slightly around your ear. It looks really cool from the side, but I love them. And I love the lens. The lens is like a light brown. And I actually really do like the fact that they don't have a rim. It's very much giving like Matrix. Very cool. So shout out to Ferragamo for the gift and for inviting me to the event last night. By the way, all of the little finger foods they were passing around last night were good too. But yeah. I also put on this little like hair and bone necklace from electric picks i forgot i had this but i left it here in uh harlem and i'm getting more into like necklaces ever since i got my new christian dior um hair and bone necklace so this is perfect very affordable as well all right i'm gonna finish getting myself together and then we are going to head to bergdorf's to do a return look around do some shopping on fifth avenue zara cos i'm gonna show you guys all the things then we'll come back here and get ready for a fun 90s throwback Halloween party. All right? All right, guys. So my cell phone is charging. It was almost dead. So I couldn't leave the house <laughs> um, because I wanted to film on my phone when we're out shopping. Um, so I ended up ordering some lunch because I'm starving. And I got my favorite. It's called Field Trip. They have a uh, Field Trip Harlem. It says rice is culture and I ended up getting the braised beef bowl which comes with uh, rice that you can see down at the bottom some greens which is so good braised beef we have some beans um, I believe this is sweet potato and then this delicious avocado cilantro uh, sauce it's so good so I'm gonna devour this Wait until my phone is completely charged. He's charging right here. I'm watching a little Sex in the City. <laughs> and um, then we'll head out and do some shopping. I'm also waiting for a package from Edge of Ember. Um, so hopefully that comes today so I can show you guys what I got. All right, guys, got myself together, ate my lunch. 
This is the look. The dress is old from Zara. It's just a gray rib knit midi dress, which is my favorite <laughs> for just a relaxing day of shopping. I'm wearing my Saint Laurent leather jacket. They have a similar uh, jacket to this at Cost and also at this other online website. I will link it down below if you like the look of this, but you want a more affordable version, I'll link a few. Uh, the sunglasses are also Saint Laurent. The necklace is Electric Picks. Um, this is very affordable as well, I'll link it. The bag is from Madewell. You guys remember I just did a Madewell campaign last month and I featured two bags. This one is my favorite. It's like the hobo leather with the gold buckle. It is adjustable, but it's just very like chill um, yet elevated. And then I have on my Nike Dunks that I was gifted by a friend. They're very comfortable. I traveled in these um, yesterday too on the plane. And I love these, so I'll link these. Um, Nike is having an amazing sale right now. So that is the look. Let's go do some shopping. Like I have my return in here as well, so this bag works out perfectly. made it down to 59th Street by Central Park. Now I'm going to head into Bergdorf and do my return and also see what else they have in store. Uh, this is the plaza here. The park is so nice today, but it's too many people.
window shopping because I didn't buy anything today. I did go to Bergdorf and I returned some things and I tried to show you guys like what's popping for fall winter, especially in a fall winter place like New York City. I saw lots of suits, lots of really cool denim jeans like with appliques and denim skirts with like really cool designs. Um, I also saw a lot of like holiday dresses and like velvets and also like beautiful like Bordeaux and golds. I saw a lot of, um, I did have a chance to quickly pop into Zara, not the way I wanted to because I was running out of time, but I didn't really see too much. I did try on a few things like this black crochet dress, um, but it was in a size small and it was too small. They didn't have a medium. I tried on this red bodysuit, which I thought was kind of cute, but I just didn't want to buy it and then carry it with me. So I probably ordered that online. Um, and what else did I try on? Oh, the black and white dress that's kind of like a dupe for the um, Jean-Paul Gaultier black like female form dress. Um, but the price for that was, it was kind of high for what it was. And I got the medium and the medium was too small. Like it was very ill-fitting. So yeah, Zara was kind of a bust, you guys. Sorry about that. And I didn't have time to make it down to cost. So what I think I'm gonna do is head down to Soho tomorrow morning um, and do a little Soho shopping and pop into that cost so you guys can see what they have down there before flying back to Miami tomorrow afternoon. Um, I did stop, well, in, Berg, in Bergdorf, they have like a black room um, that's created, that's curated by their editor. I cannot speak today, y'all. Um, and I saw some bomb shoes that I put an order in for. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they come. They're from a, a brand that I don't own anything from this brand because the brand is so expensive, okay? But the pieces are just like wearable art. And so hopefully I'm able to secure these shoes. And if I do get them, they will get their own video. Like, I, I, usually I do hauls. If I manage to secure these shoes, they will get their own video. That's how good they are. Um, and everybody loved my jacket. Anytime I wear that Saint Laurent jacket, like people go nuts for it. Um, like I said, again, it's very expensive, okay? Very. Um, it was a gift to myself for being great. And um, I have linked a few dupes. There is a really good dupe at a UK site. So if you're in the US, you do have to pay duties on it, but it's worth it. Um, and they come in a few different colors, like burgundy, green, brown, and black. So I'll link that dupe. I'll also link a really cool like leather jacket from Cos that I was hoping to show you today. Um, that's also kind of, you know, a spin on the Saint Laurent jacket with the shoulder pads. Um, yeah oh let me show you guys something so when i was in bergdorf and i was in am i okay i'm in focus um they were like hey do you want some champagne and i was like sure i thought they were gonna bring me a glass they brought me a little mini bottle how cute um it's a little prosecco so your girl is about to pour this right now i'm popping this put on a 90s playlist because the party we're going to is all 90s songs so i need to I mean, I know the lyrics to all 90 songs because that's, you know, when I grew up. <laughs> that's what I grew up with. So we're going to get ready. I haven't really figured out my outfit yet, um, but I'll check in with you guys and let you know what I end up wearing. And then we're going to head to Brooklyn in about half an hour. So let's pop this open and get ready for... A party. I need to brush up on all my 90s dances. Oh, walk it out. Oh, walk it out. Where's I walk it out? Is I walk it out? Okay. Let's pop this open.
okay you guys i put my hair in a little puff brought out my monroe earrings sorry about the lip sweat as you can see i've been dancing around my apartment uh just put on this little celine sports bra these uh i forgot the pants but i'll link them my little gucci bum bag and my dunks i'm gonna put on this little denim jacket and call it a day the lip is laura mercier chocolate um i think i'm gonna vlog the rest of the party from my phone so it won't be as crisp but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have the time of my life because 90s is where it's at when it comes to music so i'm excited gonna call myself an uber i'm gonna meet my girl amani there and i'll take you guys with me let me show you the full look okay here's the full look it's not really matching but i don't really care like i'm just going to have a good time um and i don't want to carry a bag but i want to carry my phone and my keys i guess i can put everything in my pocket and and drop the bum bag but you know it's whatevs. Um, oh, the jeans are palm angels. You have the little palm tree on the back. I have the ones with the palm tree and the ones without. So they're like my little baggy jeans. This is just a little crop top. So I'm kind of feeling it. So yeah, gonna head out. Let's go party. Okay, so this is the vibe. I just added this little denim cropped padded jacket from uh the frankie shop and that's the vibe like chill because i'm about to dance like i've never danced before so yeah full look i'll link everything still available down below let's go
Perfect. So it is a brand new day. I got up pretty early um, and went and got some breakfast from one of my favorite breakfast spots. Got myself a little coffee and now I'm just getting my things together, packing up because I am flying back to Miami today. In about mm, two hours I need to be at the airport. So I'm kind of figuring out like what things I'm going to leave here and what things I'm going to take. A lot of people always ask me like how do I decide what to bring to Miami. For the most part I just bring all of my summer things and then if I know there's an event that I have scheduled or anything like that and there's a specific look that I want to wear that I know is here I will bring it. Um, but for the most part I leave all of my um, like winter things here like these red Isabel Marant boots which I need to wear more often. These pretty much live in New York although I could technically bring them to Miami. Um, my Loewe denim fold down boots. I might actually bring these with me to Miami uh, maybe next month. And again I'm usually in my New York Harlem apartment at least one week out of every month. Um, no particular week uh it's scheduled but like normally i have a ton of events and i try and schedule them all around the same time so that i have like a purpose <laughs> you know so yeah i'm just kind of figuring out what i want to bring i almost want to bring these these are brian atwood pom-pom sandals and i mean even though they have these little fur balls i mean they're still i could wear these in miami with like a little black dress i think that would be cute but my space uh, my space in Miami is limited like I have a lot more storage space and closets here in Harlem so I try not to overwhelm my Miami <laughs> apartment with stuff like I have enough stuff in fact I've pretty much outgrown my townhouse and I'm kind of in the process of looking for another either house or townhouse um, with more space so We'll see y'all, probably 2024, that's what we'll be focusing on. Um, like this little Jacquemus shirling bag, usually lives here because I mean it's shirling, you know, it's not really giving Miami, it's definitely giving cold, so yeah. And I always forget that I have this cute little uh, Gucci bag from when I worked with Gucci maybe like two years ago. I was an ambassador for them for a few months and this is one of the bags that I got. So cute. Um, so yeah, just walking you guys through a few things. Definitely, oh, I forgot my Fendi <laughs> wristlet here. So we're bringing that back because I wear this quite a bit. Um, yeah, so just packing up. I only have a carry-on like because when I travel to New York, of course I have clothes and like everything here like I don't even need to bring a toothbrush because I have a toothbrush like here which works out well so I travel pretty light and never really need to uh, check a bag when I'm flying so yeah oh let's talk about last night you guys last night was so much fun I'm a little raspy because I sang my heart out last night the party uh, thrown by the layout at Brooklyn Museum they had a ton of black owned businesses like outlining the like dance floor area um oh let me show you something i got so on my way out of the party i ran into a subscriber um everything chris with two s's dot com and she makes handcrafted incense and she gifted me these so yeah check her out everything chris dot com black owned business and i think she has um a stand or a store 
where she sells not too far away from Brooklyn Museum if I remember correctly I mean your girl did have quite a few drinks last night but she was super sweet and she let me pick out an incense and I ended up going with wise which is frankincense mirror and amber and they smell amazing hopefully can I get them out this little tab is kind of in the way but yeah they're just incense they come in this cute little bag and the wise fragrance smells amazing Ooh, I want to light one of these right now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So make sure to check her out. Um, but yeah, last night was so much fun. I ran into my girl Tiffany Battle, <laughs> um, who lives in Harlem. So yeah, us, us Harlemites, we do migrate to Brooklyn every now and then. Um, I saw so many cool outfits. I tried to pop some of those in so you guys could see what people were wearing. It was a 90s party. I feel like they didn't play enough 90s songs. It was very much like early 2000s and like current music. But yeah, I had an amazing time. I let you slide it my way right on through that party. Me and Imani, who was like a kitten or a cat um, for her costume, we had a great time. And I ran into so many... Oh, hold on okay that was the male woman i ran into and met so many subscribers like so many so thank you guys for the support and if you ever see me out and about please say hello like i would love to meet the people who make this job possible for me like you guys support me it's the least i can do i would love to meet you i would love to know your name i would love to speak to you so yeah thanks to everybody who came up and said hello and it was really nice meeting all of you so yeah, I had an amazing time. I danced my way. I sang. Like I had a, such a good time. That was such a fun party. I'm actually really glad that I came to New York um, for Halloween because normally I'm in Miami and mm, Miami don't really be given for, you know, the culture, for a party. So I had a wonderful time and I look forward to the next one. The layout always puts on an amazing event. Um, if you're in the New York area, make sure to follow the layout co on instagram to stay up to date for all of their events uh so yeah that is pretty much it you girl is fresh face looking like a baby um i'm gonna finish packing i am going to get myself together i'm gonna head to the airport and get back to miami because while i was here i got so many things delivered <laughs> to Miami I'm gonna have to do an unboxing for you guys I'm working with a ton of different brands um, and I need to create uh, some content Michael Kors some fashion reels some things for fall and winter and November um, promotions so yeah if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter yet and you want to know what I'm buying what things I think are gonna be hot before I drop them anywhere else um, and also, if you want to keep up to date with my own collection with something by Sanji that's dropping in November, make sure to head to the link in my description box that says sign up for my newsletter or head to the pin first pin comment, my comment, expand it. In there is usually a link for my subscription newsletter, which drops every Tuesday. If you have subscribed to the newsletter and you're not getting it, check your spam. Sometimes it goes to the spam box. Um, and literally all you have to do is click the link it'll open up a box you put in your email you click subscribe that's it you'll get the newsletter um, I've been getting quite a few people questions of people saying oh I'm not getting the letter it's probably in your spam so just check your spam box and move it to an inbox so that you know your email allows for the newsletter to come through and that's it but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i mean it was a quick little 42 hours but we did a lot we did a lot shout out to ferragamo for inviting me to their event and gifting me with these sunglasses i'll link a few of my favorites from ferragamo down below not just including sunglasses but their bags are so good um and yeah shout out to my girl janae for having me on her show i don't know when it's gonna drop but yeah it was really fun and i enjoyed myself um and also just spending time with her and josh and just having a good kiki um thank you guys so much for watching everything you have seen in today's vlog every place i went everything i wore including this house dress from skims is linked down below in the description bar sign up for my newsletter uh thumbs up 
the video subscribe if you're new and click the notification bell so that you never miss your girl so that you never miss a video all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you back in miami don't worry we have a, another new york trip coming up real soon so i'll be back bye guys Thank you.